Welcome to Fee Dump, where this week we are all planeteers. I am Wind because she seemed the coolest. Joining me this week is Hart. He was the best. You got to be friends with all the animals. And also Hart. I just want a monkey sidekick really bad. Ash and Surge's double heart makes up for my complete absence of one. Biologists are pissed off. They think some animals have stupid names, such as this fish called the Slippery Dick Rass. I'm sorry, Slippery Dick Rash? Is that an STD? No, no, I'm pretty sure it's Latin. For what? Slippery dick rash? Actually, yeah. No, no. Rasses, as in W-R-A-S-S-E-S, are a type of fish. And according to its Wikipedia entry here, uh, is a large and diverse family with over 600 species, the largest of which is the humphead wrasse. I think there may have been a competition a while ago when this species was being named to see how many they could sneak in. Or, you know, it's just like that one guy in the office. Yes, I saw it first. Slippery dick. Slippery dick it is. God damn it. Will somebody get this guy off the genus classification team? God. I have a real story. You can legit name it whatever you want. There is a guy who found a new um, spider and named it after David Bowie because it had a lightning bolt on it. Like, this is just real. Wherever the name came from, I just hope that you can't order that fish in any restaurant because that would be embarrassing. What would you like to have for dinner tonight, sweetie? Oh, I was hoping we could share the slippery dick. If you would like to find and touch a slippery dick wrasse for yourself, just head to the tropical waters of the Western Atlantic Ocean, where the fish can reach a maximum length of 35 centimeters. That is one mighty big slippery dick. For those American viewers, that's almost 14 inches long. Enough said. Conspiracy theorists are freaking out because there's going to be something called a blood moon on September 28th, and they think that is a herald that a terrible asteroid is going to come and strike the Earth and trigger a magnitude 12.0 earthquake and signal the end times, I guess. <sighs> Anyhow, NASA has, like, had to come out in writing and say, no, there are no asteroids heading towards the Earth. Jeez. Blood Moon sounds like a shitty vampire thing. Twilight's a crappy vampire movie and made me feel sick. The last time I got really sick watching a movie, it was The Transformers, directed by Michael Bay. Holy crap, Michael Bay directed Armageddon. Oh my god, it is real! Get in the bunkers, people! This is real! So this Blood Moon asteroid doom conspiracy theory was originally started by two Christian ministers by the name of John Hagee and Mark Blitz, who said a tetrad, which is four consecutive lunar eclipses, uh, but with six full moons in between, uh, is an indicator of the end of times as uh, prophesied in the Bible. And uh, they interpreted the blood moon theory in something called the Book of Joel, uh, which definitely sounds like crackpot things to me, because I'm not a biblical scholar, but it's like normally like Isaiah and Abraham but Joel is the name of somebody who works at Taco Bell. Wait, Joel was the original host of MST3K. He was trapped in space. He has access to space. He sees us come. Oh my God, guys, it's real. Get in the bunkers. Get in the bunkers. Ah, shit. I just looked it up. Turns out the book of Joel is a real thing. It's in the Hebrew Bible. Well, I did say I wasn't a biblical scholar, didn't I? Apparently, Joel was one of the 12 minor prophets, and uh, we don't know much about him other than what he wrote about himself. Did he work at Taco Bell? Uh, in the book, he calls himself the son of Pethuel, which kind of rhymes with Taco Bell. If you've been offended by this week's feed dump, please write to, oh my God, you guys, read a book, care of, we're all going to hell anyway. One, two, three, Sinner Bottom Lane, Ottawa, Canada. Two five-year-old Russian boys were found unharmed after they escaped their kindergarten by tunneling out under the front gate so they could go visit a Jaguar dealership. They told police they wanted to buy a grown-up car. That really seems like the plot of the prequel to The Rock. How bad is detention in Russia that the kids literally have to Shawshank Redemption their way out of school? Please tell me that someone's going to follow these boys through their lives, because if they turn out to be anything less than the world's greatest bank robbers, I'm going to be severely disappointed. I'm really interested in the workflow here. I don't believe two kids could have dug the tunnel themselves. They're masterminds, they're organizing, mobilizing the other children. These kids are gonna get up to a lot of trouble. I'm really excited. These kids aren't just a boon for feed dump today. They're an investment in the feed dumps of the future. I hope someone at DC sees this so we can write them in as Batman villains. There have been stupider Batman villains. Trust me. Yeah, like Polka Dot Man or Zebra Man. 
who don't have any credibility and don't have this hat. How is that for a transition? Oh, nailed it. Deal with it. I'm the best at this. Yeah. By the way, this hat was given to us by Feldheim C at PAX, and it's an authentic Devo hat in as much as he got it at a Devo concert, not that it was plucked from the head of a Devo member or anything, but, you know, it's a hat. It looks like this. And in a pinch, it's a chip bowl. That's not nothing. All right, folks, mark this on your calendar because this is probably the first and only instance where marine biologists and the sex toy industries could just come together and make something amazing. Because it's all right there.